Hey everybody, Sarah Bowman here. I am doing another Kate backdrop video because I just love their background so much and I can't stop using them. So I'm gonna show you how I set this one up in my living room and made myself a studio without actually having studio stuff. And I'm also gonna show you one of my favorite backdrops from katebackdrop.com and a photo shoot that I recently did with it that I am totally in love with. So let's get to it. Finger guns, because I'm a dork. Sorry guys, that was dorky. Who else is in love with this plush little, I don't know, stump that's made of foam? I bought it today and I'm very in love. Yeah, okay, I'll continue with the video. I've got a big window in my living room, thankfully, uh, which I take advantage of when I need to shoot indoors. So basically I just move all my furniture out of the way um, so I uh, definitely get my exercise and as you can see I am putting my backdrop up using these little hooks that I just turned and then they attach up into the ceiling so when I put up backdrops, I like for them to be light. That's when I appreciate these guys because they are really light and they do what they, I need them to do. So they're really easy for me to set up. And for this particular setup, I did add a ring light, but for the pictures that I'm gonna show you, there was actually no additional lighting. Another thing that I really like is that they are machine washable. So depending on what kind of photography you're into, or you just get it dirty by accident, you can throw it in the wash and then you can throw it in the dryer after that and it's as if nothing happened. So that's a big bonus. I like to put nail polish on my, um, my um, cellular device case and then make it look decent without having to buy a new case. In case you're wondering. Cape backdrops are actually wrinkle resistant as well. So I find that I don't actually normally have to worry about wrinkles on my backdrops. So you'll find that pretty handy if you hate to iron your backdrops because it can be really annoying, especially when you're lazy like me and kind of make the decision five minutes prior to the photo shoot of which backdrop you're going to use and then you don't have time to um, iron it. And the backdrops are microfiber, which is also awesome because it makes them really soft and easy to clean too. So the most important thing, to me at least, and I'm sure a lot of you guys, are not it's, it's actually hard to like make money in the beginning as a photographer. So you need really affordable backdrops and equipment. And that's why I like going for ones that are a lot less expensive and that work for what I need them to do. This is definitely my favorite studio setup where most light, like 90, 80% of it is natural light. Um, but let me know in the comments what your go-to studio setup is. You can add me on Instagram at Sarah Bowman Photography. I love showing before and afters and behind the scenes process images. I do have a coupon code as well for you guys. It is Sarah Bowman. Use it at the checkout and you'll get, I think it's 10% off your total. I'll see you guys later. Have fun on your next photo shoot and please share your images below. I would love to see them. See you guys. Bye bye. So I thought that I would show you guys what I see from my end of it for this recording. Um, so I'll swap the camera. And there is my dirty living room. Um, hi, me. Hi, Patches. And yeah, there's my natural light from my window, and there's my one ring light, which was like a hundred bucks on Amazon, and then of course my camera. And yeah, that's what I see. Well, I think we're good now. What do you think? Yeah. Now, 
Excuse me. 